My father taught me that the wealth we make in our business does not belong to us. Instead, we are to be the stewards of all that money and use it wisely. And over time, associating with many wealthy families, as well as my own, I saw how simply leaving all the money to one's own children would destroy them. But I soon came to see that it was easier to make the money than to give it away. Our foundation has had to develop very strict guidelines for our donations. And to be honest, very few organizations have met our high standards. But Bourbon Day is one of them that has. And among our 18 partners and projects around the world, it is definitely one of our favorites, Bourbon Day. Bob and Linda Bental are uh, wonderful supporters and eager to help us. I'm so grateful for them. Uh, and we discovered, really, the Cedar Foundation because the Cedar Foundation discovered us. When we met Father Muller and saw the atmosphere at Verbum Day, we realized this was something special worth investing in. Because we're in business. We want a return on our investments. The return on our investments is young students in the right direction with a thirst for bettering themselves and educating themselves. The boys who are privileged to go there have been given a gift that is larger than they can probably ever explain. And it's my hope that, that they will become fighters, fighters for justice, fighters for what's right, uh, fighters um, for, for what makes a community and a country strong. There are no words to say how uh, grateful we are that they found us. What I was most impressed with is beyond their generous support, how much time and interest they took to see that the money they gave us really directly impacted our students. A commitment over five years uh, towards scholarships for our students, in addition to a recent gift to uh, give students resources that they otherwise wouldn't have, including iPads and new textbooks, graphing calculators. It's just a, a tremendous gift that they've given us. Unfortunately, in the situation where they don't have computers at home and this, our society is progressing so much more towards being technologically savvy that to keep these boys on that same playing field, they're going to need that experience and getting those iPad carts for them is going to be amazing. They really just care about one thing, helping people to make a difference in their lives and their communities. And they do that through education. And it's just such an enduring gift that it's also opened my eyes in what's the best way to help people. There's probably no better investment you could make with your money to invest in the, the life and the potential and the future of a young man. Bob and Linda, when I was young, there was two things I wanted to do. I wanted to be a rock star, and I also wanted to save the world. You've allowed me to save a little piece of the world every day. I can't thank you enough for that, thank you.